Hi, welcome to Music Together presented by Musical.ly. I'm Rebecca Henry. In today's video, we'll be doing a music theory tutorial on how to play left hand bass clef notes. So check us out at musically.com to sign up for lessons in your area. Let's get started. So before we did a video about landmark notes on the bass clef, this is a good way to get started with how to read a couple of notes on the bass clef. Once you get familiar with landmark notes, then you can start learning all of the notes. So if you haven't already, check out our landmark notes bass clef video, and then head back over here to check this one out. All right, so bass clef. Bass clef is kind of hard sometimes, right? So in music, we get really comfortable with the treble clef because our right hand's playing it, which is dominant already. You know, the melody's there, it's what we want to play, we love it, blah, blah, blah. Left hand, however, sometimes gets left in the cold. So what we're gonna do today is work on how to be really good at left hand notes. Being really great at left hand notes is super important so that you can play amazing left hand stuff. And you can even play whole tunes in your left hand. You can play stuff to accompany your right hand. You can make it sound really interesting and more complex. So that's why left hand's really, really valuable. All right, here we go. So on our screen chair, we're first going to draw a bass clef, which as we remember is a circle. And then a swoop, yep. and then two dots. Okay, the two dots on the top space and the second top space are very important because they help us remember where some notes are. Okay, just as a quick review, our landmark notes are F. F because it's called the F clef and it's in between the two dots. Our middle C, and think C for cat, meow, kitty, meow, doo -doo. and then we have base C, which is on the second space, space one, space two. So think space two is base C. Okay, those are our landmark notes, but now we're gonna remember a new way to, to learn them. This is really helpful and useful, but if you're like, I wanna think of it a different way, Here's another way to think about it. Mnemonics. Mnemonics is a fancy way to do a sentence to help us remember a fun way to remember the notes. So we are first gonna do lines on the bass clef. So I have a funny one. I always say, good burritos don't fall apart. So that's gonna be lines in the bass clef. So let's apply that for a little bit. So let's do some good old line reading and then we'll go back to the, the spaces. All right, so I'm gonna write a note and then you have to figure it out. So if I have, remember this is line one, two, three, four, five, okay? So if I draw this note, what line am I on? Line one, two, three. I am on line three. Okay, if I'm on line three, I know I have to go to the third line. So good burritos don't. Okay, I know that this is a D. All right, let's do another one. What about this one? What line am I on? One, two, three, four, five. I am on the fifth line. What line am I on? I'm on line one, two, three, four, five, the fifth line. So I'm on the fifth line. So I think good burritos don't fall apart. Oh, fifth line, it's an A. All right. Now what about this one? What line am I on? One, two, good burritos. Ooh, it's a B. Yeah. Good job. All right, I'm gonna make it a little bit more challenging. Before I erase everything, you tell me, say that mnemonic one more time, the sentence. Okay, so we got good burritos don't fall apart. Can you say it one more time? Good burritos don't fall apart. Okay, there are plenty of other sentences that other teachers use. So if your teacher uses another one, totally cool, no problem. Sometimes people do uh, good boys do fine always. 
There's tons of them out there. I just like good burritos don't fall apart because I like a good burrito. So let's erase this. Now, oops, too many nines. Now comes the hard part, you ready? I'm gonna draw a note and you have to figure out what it is. Okay, what line is it? One, two, three, four, five, line five. And what was the, the sentence? Good. Burritos don't fall apart. It is there for an A. You got it. Okay, let's do another one. Ooh, tricky. Line, it's line one, two, three. Good. Burritos don't. Let's do three more. What line is it? One, two, three, four, fourth line. So good burritos don't fall. F. Awesome. Two more. All right. It is line two. One, two. So, good burritos, it's a B. And last but not least, it's line one. So, good. All right, it's a G. So, that is lines in the base class. Now we're gonna do spaces in the base class. So, all children eat green beans. Say it with me, all children eat green beans one more time. All children eat green beans. Yeah. Okay. We know that all children eat green beans. Now, you may see that there's one, two, three, four, five, five letters as well. But this guy's kind of hanging out on top. So he's on the space above the staff. So there's actually only four spaces on the staff. Space one, two, three, four. This guy is a bonus space above the staff. And that's where beans is going to be. All right, so we have all children eat green beans. So this one would be a, what space is it? Space one, two, three, the third space. So I need to go all children eat. It is an E, hooray. Okay, let's go to this one. What space is it? One, two, Three, four, dun, 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 space four. So all oh, children eat green. So you got a G. All right. Very nice. Now let's do one more thing. We're going to do, let's do this one up here. That's going to be a hard one. Okay, remember it's space one, two, three, four, bonus. Okay, bonus space is all children eat green beans. So we know it's a B, beans or bonus line space, whatever you want, bonus space or green beans. Okay, all right. How do we feel about that one? Say the thing with me one more time. All children eat green beans. Your turn. One more time. All children eat green beans. Good. Okay. Now, just like lines. I'm going to take it away. Goodbye. 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 All right. Can you remember? Can you remember? Eh? Eh? I bet you can. Okay. So what is this one? It's space two. It's space two. So all children. So it's a C. What about this one? It's space four. So all children eat 
green beans. Good job. Okay, we got a couple more to do. What's this one? Remember, it's space. Bonus space. And all children eat green beans and B for bonus. So it's a B. All right. And this one down here. First space is all. All children eat green beans. Okay. So just think to yourself, all children eat green beans. And then you'll kind of have an idea of where each of them are on the staff and think good burritos don't fall apart. So all children eat green beans and good burritos don't fall apart. I know they're a little silly, but they'll help you remember all the bass club notes. I hope that was fun. We are Musical.ly where music is fun. Check us out at musical.ly.com to sign up for lessons in your area. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. We put a new video out every week. Have a great day. Bye.